going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another little bit of an announcement for Ghost Frontline. Uh, if you guys are looking to jump up in levels for any of your echelons, this is going to be the prime time to do it. So if you guys can see, actually, it's actually, I'm not, yeah, it's actually not showing up in the announcements on the bottom left, as you guys can see over here. But everyone should have at least gotten this in the mail, and it's going to be the August 28th scheduled maintenance. So tomorrow, or they might actually do it tonight at like 11.59. Um, but, as you guys can see, Dear Commanders, we will be having a scheduled maintenance from August 28th, 00 to 3 o'clock UTC 8. Please be mindful that you will be unable to access the game during the maintenance period. Basically, the first event is Combat EXP 1.5 Multiplication. Events will commence from August 28th to September 3rd, uh, the entire day. And the combat AXP gain from all combat missions will be boosted to 150% during the event as well. Also, the three star uh, T Doll RPD, the machine gun, is also going to be obtained for the, uh, <laughs> for the September rewards. Um, unfortunately, her specs aren't going to be super good. In fact, they're very mediocre. So, a lot of people are thinking about just dis uh, basically disregarding her or just um, <laughs> basically saying, hey, look, a free core as a joke. I mean, in all honesty, she's a limited event vent t doll but i can understand where people are coming from with people coming up with more and more guns coming out for this game you're going to be losing a lot of room so unless you're someone who doesn't mind spending some money for gems to um upgrade your capacity for your t dolls you might want to hold off on her i mean honestly i'm going to collect her uh I i've been collecting all of the actual dolls so far i mean if you can go all the way down over here, I mean, I, I, I do definitely want to work on my, oh my gosh, look at all of these, look at all those doubles. I know, I know a lot of people are going to be really <laughs> jealous of me, and yeah, fuck you MP5, I've gotten so many of you, it's not even funny. No, but as, <laughs> but yeah, um, hold on, I'm trying to figure out where that three doll, three star doll is, I just got an MG5, but yeah, um, I mean, there's the ASA, the, the Ash 20, um, 12.7, where's the one I just got? Where is the one I just got? The one that was from August. The uh, dark skinned waifu. Am, am I am I legit miss there she is, okay. Wow. I am blind apparently, yeah. MT9. I mean look at her. I mean her stats might not be the great oh. I, I didn't I I, I I just meant to click on you. Uh <laughs> hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, damn it. Alright. But yeah, I mean, honestly, her stats are eh, mediocre as well. I mean, I'm going to have to look into it. I want to see her stats more and, and look into them more if I decide to even decide to <laughs> build her up. But uh, although, granted, as as age 12.7, although she is unlimited, um, but the super stats was limited, and I'm probably going to go build her up. Why? Because she's fucking adorable. I'd probably set her up as a as an echelon leader because she's adorable. I mean, look at those, look at those, uh, little side... I guess you could say like kind of like handlebars on the side of her head, <laughs> even though it's her hair. You just kind of want to grab them and floof them up. I don't know. I'm weird. I I saw fan art on the girls' frontline Reddit. Don't you judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in all honesty, my like, home. Let me go. Let me bring back my actual thing. But I'm probably gonna be setting up to finish my echelon too. I have enough dupe. I have enough uh, dupes of UMP9 to completely. Um, max her out when she gets levels 90. Um, I, I think I actually have enough combat reports right now. Hold on, let me actually check my dorm really quickly. Okay, where else? Yeah, gift. Uh, I think I have 40. Oh, I don't even have any. Okay. Yeah, see? Look at, look at, yeah. I got you, you freaking 5'7", right before I joined the game. Yeah, that was great. Got the skin so it can rub me in my face. Just, hey, I know you joined after 5'7". Stop, because the bingo card with the Valentine skin was just happening. So let me go shit in your... <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm still a little upset about that. But I did get the PKP. So, I think that's PKP, right? Right? Yeah, PKP. I'm waiting for you to drop. Been rolling for you on my for my four T dollar productions, but I have yet to get anything, although I did get the GR, uh, the other machine gun, so I can't be too mad at that. And then of course and then of course this is the one that one that was also for the event, uh, for the M thirty seven. But I don't do a lot of heavy production. I mean I did a lot I mean I did get my KSG from heavy production when I did the rate up, but it's not something I normally do. But anyways, uh yeah, there's going to be a combat EXP up. I'm hoping to at least maybe get at least one more echelon to completely another full 100. Um, and then I'm probably going to be working on a machine gun and shotgun combo. As you can see, I'm at 50,000 on both ammunition and rations. So I can I can spend a good amount. Thank God for this raid up event that I think ends t today. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the raid up event for logistics ends today. But I was able to jump up quite a bit. My manpower, I, not, I shit you not 
was, I think, like, 900-something at the end of the production rate because I was using all on heavy production rate, which was worth it, though, I will admit, because I did get a KSG, although, granted, I did get an MP5 from that, and that made me a little salty. But, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, but as I said, they, they're going to be a combat rate. What dolls are you looking to completely 100% or try to get as high as you can during the event? I think you guys got quite a bit. Let's see, it ends. Hold on. When does it end again? I think it ends on September there, right? Uh, yeah, so you, you literally have an entire week. Well, I mean, you have from Tuesday, the 28th, to Monday, the 3rd, but it ends basically at 11.59. So, I mean, you basically got a week. I mean, honestly, I, I, I will be able to level the, my my second echelon. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I will be definitely able to level up my echelon if I'm grinding it up to level 100 for sure. I do want to get my Scorpion to level 90 so I can get rid of all my dummy links, all, all my extras, um, and then my, also my UMP9. Also, main thing, I definitely want to get Sleepo Beepo, Resident Sleepo Beepo right here to do that. And I'm going to go put a poll. All right, so from these two echelons, one and two, all these girls are in love with me. Um, who should I oath? I mean, honestly, a lot of people say don't oath FAL because, yes, the the bonus to her stats are just subpar compared to other T-Dolls. I mean, honestly, the one that everyone says that is, is would be a good oath would definitely be M4A1. However, I'm looking at Sopman as well. And honestly, although I probably will go to jail, GRLGR11 is so good. Hold on. I'm just going to press it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, also, 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 before I forget, hold on, um, I think also, in this 28th one, yes, 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 right here, um, so yeah, I did say the two star, but yeah, um, three, the September daily package, which include, include, so every day you can buy this package, one core, one base, uh, basic training data, 600, which is a good amount, I mean, honestly, that's about, um, each time I do one, uh, regular training data for, with my current team, I get about 204, 205 uh, basic training data. So that that's about three uh, sim energy right there. Intermediate training data 300 and advanced training data 150 for 128 gems. That is a steal. In all honesty, if you're looking to like get a lot of training data under your belt, which is going to be really good, especially trying to upgrade your stats and skills and all that stuff, not stats, skills, uh, this is a really good package, and I would recommend buying a couple of them during out this event if you guys have extra gems laying around or if you are like me and don't mind spending every once in a while. But the one thing that I'm going to be definitely buying for sure, I don't mind I'm going to buy it because it's, it's something that's always good to get these, and it's the special... Uh, offer package. You can only buy one during this event, so you can only get it once. It has strawberry custard, cheesecake, ten. So I think that means that is ten hearts. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure if I'm correct on that. But you also get quick training and contract one, which is actually really good if you are going to be quick training a anyone that has anything from like a 24-hour wait time. Just good to knock that out of the way. Uh, an oath certificate, which is the biggest one. An oath certificate. And calibration tickets, which I have a bunch of. Yet to use them. I think you use them later on in night battles because I've completed everything but night battles because I just haven't got around to touching those. Although I probably will eventually. Um, and I'll probably maybe stream it or something. We'll see what happens. But it, you can, like I said, you're limited to one purchase. So, yeah, please note that any unfinished battles will be closed once the maintenance begins. I mean, honestly, if you're playing that late at night, you should probably be res expecting that. But... Honestly, this is gonna be a pretty good little event going on. I mean, it's like I say, it's a it's a mini event, I guess you can say. Um, during these raid up events, there were mini events as well. But let me know what you guys think about this this exp raid up. I know another streamer, uh, by the name of Sloan, the female otaku, who's someone I follow. Uh, she's probably gonna be streaming this, and hopefully, hopefully she gets some uh gets to stream it as well because I do enjoy seeing people play this in general. Um. Le much less people like <laughs> much much less people stream this game that I see and I don't know but what do you guys think about this event are you guys gonna be looking to jump up levels or what exactly what exact T-Dolls or units are you guys looking to at least jump up as much as you can in terms of experience I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below and yeah let me know let me know which ones you want me to oath out of these two echelons right here which one should I oath 
I, I really am looking at GRG11 because I think that stat line boost will probably be extremely beneficial. And G11's already a monster, but she is a lolly, and I feel a little bit ashamed for doing that. <laughs> this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Also, follow me on Twitter. It is the easiest way to keep in contact with stuff. Or if you'll see me uh, brag about certain things, and I'll post a uh, picture of someone I pulled, and I think it's worth, you know, taking a picture of. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!